Welcome one and all to our next episode of Rumination. Today, let's talk about a very important and, and essential kitchen tool. But we will start with a question. Can a can opener open a can? <laughs> well, while there are can openers, we, we would like to for them to be able to open them. So, yes, probably. Okay, what well, are can openers? They are mechanical devices used to open metal tin cans. Who would say so, right? They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they all work by cutting through the lid of the can in a safe and efficient manner. There are two main types of a can openers. One is manual and the other is electric. Manual can openers are typically more affordable and easier to store, but they can be more difficult to use, especially for people with hand strength issues. Electric can openers, on the other hand, are more expensive and bulkier, but they are much easier to use and you can open a can with a single push of a button. When choosing a can opener, it's important to consider the following factors. These are, if you have a hand strength issue, you may want to choose an electric can opener or a manual can opener with a soft grip handle. The other is the can openers can be used frequently, so it's important to choose one that is made of durable materials and is well built. Also, some come with additional features such as a bottle opener, a knife sharpener or a built-in magnet to hold the lid in a place. So, most popular types of can openers we know are side cut openers, punch top can openers and electric can openers. As we mentioned electric ones, we don't have to say more. But when it, when it comes to side cut openers and punch top, for some people it can be a bit confusing. So, the side cut openers are very common type of manual can opener. They have a cutting wheel that is inserted into the lid of the can and then turned to cut through the metal. So if you imagine that you put the can horizontally and you want to just cut the top, the whole top, that's what it is. And punch top is cutting just that whole top part without the edges. So that's the difference. Okay, so as we heard, there are a few types of openers, but let's remember, no matter what type of a can opener you choose, be sure to read the instructions carefully before using it. Okay, that's like the main reason, like no reason, the main point you should consider in your life, because this will help you to use the can opener safely and, and the most important part, effectively. Okay, now there are some, let's say, additional types, uh -huh. additional tips for using a can opener safely. Always keep the can opener sharp because if it's dull, it might backfire. I don't know. Just keep it sharp, okay? Now, be careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges of the lid, okay? Or on the can opener, I don't care. Both of them are sharp, the lid and the can opener. So just no touching, okay? Like in a strip club. Now, always dispose of the can lid safely, okay? That's like, don't, don't toss it to your dog or to your children that they should go play with it because it's sharp. The main point of the last point was that it's sharp. So the point of this point, it's also that it's sharp, okay? So as we can do a little summary of these points, we should know that can openers are an essential kitchen tool and with proper care and maintenance, 
They can last for many, many years. They can also outlive you. Now, I have a very interesting question for you. What type of a can opener do you have? If you have a can opener, do you have a can opener? I do, but I'm not using it. I'm not really buying food in a can. Okay, so, but if... Okay, so, yeah, 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 we get it. You have a can opener, don't be so posh, okay? Now, there are also other ways, if you know what you're doing, that you can, if you don't have a can opener, you can also use something else. Did you ever try to use something else that a can opener to open a can? Of course I did. What? And did it backfire or did you survive it? Obviously, I survived it. What about you? Oh, no. Well, let's see. I'm still here. I'm breathing. Barely, but I'm breathing. So, yeah, I, I survived it, shockingly. Okay, now, as we both know that we survived, that we are not ghosts. That's it. That's That's the end of the sentence. Okay, now, did you... As you have a can opener, is it manual or is it electric? It's manual, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. And it, it, why why you don't have an electric one? Well, when I was in the store, there was just one option. So uh, I just picked that one option because I just needed a can opener. I didn't want to run all over the place to find another store with electric one. So it's just it. Oh my goodness, I was expecting something like that I don't need an electric one because I I have enough strength to open a can <laughs> like, an in, like an independent woman or something that you know because something of that sort, not that I was too lazy to go shopping. Yeah, that's that's like, I'm shocked by this, okay? I'm not gonna be... Look, wow. if I if I really need electric one, then I would not be lazy. But I just needed a can opener, so I wasn't thinking about oh, am I strong enough to open it with manual one? You know, that wasn't the case. It was just I just need a can opener. I don't care which one is it if they have it here in this store because let's say I just want to use it today. Or tomorrow and I won't have time to run somewhere else to buy one so that's the whole point yes yeah, so you were lazy that's the whole point I'm not, not let's not lie okay let's not lie I don't lie what type of can opener do you have and when was the last time you used it well shockingly it's a manual one and the last time I, I used a can opener I really can't remember because I'm not the can opener type, okay? I don't open cans on a daily basis. So I I really don't remember when was the last time. But I know, I know that I know, I know, I know how to... I know, I know, there's two I knows. Okay, I know how to use a can opener. That's the main point. Without damaging my fingers. At least now. Okay, safety first. That's a good point. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Let us know in the comments what type of can opener do you have and why you think it's just the best uh, type for you. And if you like this episode, please like, subscribe and until next time, bye.